Hi, I'm Hugh Fitzpatrick, practicing real estate attorney here in Massachusetts and paperless closing advocate. For this week's show, we wanted to talk briefly about the cost savings on going paperless. This is something that we believe in. This is something that we've been advocating for for quite some time. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to examine whether that is true, whether lenders can save money by switching to a paperless closing process. So what we looked at this week was the cost associated with producing a piece of paper and maintaining a piece of paper. So you have things like electricity, air conditioning, people, you have the toner, you have the printer, all of these things that go into the cost of producing and maintaining that paper. So what we did was we kind of figured out our estimate about the cost was a dollar per sheet. So if you add in all those other factors that we talked about, what you're paying is probably a dollar. So if you take that dollar and multiply it by how many sheets of paper are in a typical loan set, which is about 200, and then you multiply that by how many closings that you close each month, there is your cost associated with printing and maintaining that paper. So this is what we believe. We believe the lenders, the brokers out there, need to tell their attorneys and title providers, you need to start closing electronically. Because with the electronic process, all of the documents are captured and there's no paper produced. As a result of that, when the closing is done, the settlement provider and or attorney can send those documents back to the lender electronically. What you're doing is you're eliminating that back end scanning index process. So I hope you find this information useful. I'm Hugh Fitzpatrick. Have a great day.